everyone, it's Shelley here from EmpowerYourLifeClub.com. I'm very excited today because I have my first box of Monkey See Monkey Don't Book. They've finally come. Now, you'll have to excuse the camera work. My five-year-old boy, Josiah, is actually doing my videoing today. So, hopefully it comes out good and I'm sure he'll do a wonderful job. Okay, so, let's open it, shall we? I'm a little bit excited. Okay, I'm a lot excited. <laughs> See those, Josiah? Yeah. So there's our book, Monkey See, Monkey Don't. Um, what you need to know in today's world that your parents didn't know to teach you. Josiah, you need to keep the camera still, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there's our new book. So let's have a look and I'll read you a little bit <laughs> from the book, okay? What can we read? Oh, it looks good. How long will this okay. take? This won't take long. It won't take much longer. Okay, I'll just read. Can I read a little bit to them, Josiah? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, you read something. This is to do with time management. So let's read a little bit out of this. Okay, so it turns out the attention span of a five-year-old is less than I thought it would be. So, um, yes, my little boy piked out and I'm going to do the rest of the video on my own. So um, I'll go and read you a little bit of this book that we've just got. It's very exciting. Um, I'm reading out of the life management chapter. So... Our expectations of life have never been higher. We all want to have it all. But can we really? Sure, but probably not at all at the same time. Having your life in balance doesn't mean doing everything equally. Having a balanced life means you've learnt to prioritise the most important things in your life. So how do you do this? Now the first step is to put yourself at the top of your list of priorities. This doesn't mean being selfish or self-centred, it means simply acknowledging that you are the main resource in your life. If you accept that you are your most precious resource, then you'll also acknowledge the importance of looking after that resource. As success coaches, we are fond of asking our clients if they treat a prized racehorse the way they treat themselves. The answer is usually a fast and firm no, because very few of us will be foolish enough to run a racehorse until it's ragged feed it on junk food and expect it to perform at its peak without providing it its vital rest periods. And yet that's exactly how many of us treat ourselves. So um, I'll stop there, but make sure you go and grab a copy of the book. It's written by myself and Paul Blackburn. So to grab a copy of Monkey See, Monkey Don't, you need to go to my website, which is www.empoweryourlifeclub.com forward slash monkey see, monkey don't. Okay, so jump over there now, grab a copy, and um, I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Take care and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.